Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Kessler and I'm here at uh, Global Health Solutions and I want to introduce you to a new uh, technology that we're uh, offering for physicians and healthcare practitioners called the AngioScan and we're pretty excited about it. We think it's a great technology uh, to use in your practice to help screen for cardiovascular uh, conditions and we know now that you know the number one killer today is heart disease well maybe number two next to you know cancer and heart disease they kind of go back and forth but fifty percent of the people uh, that are suffering from heart attacks have normal cholesterol numbers so you know I mean you can't just go by that you have to have something else that's tangible that you can use to screen people. So we use the AngioScan, and the AngioScan kind of looks at something called uh, pulse wave velocity. And let me explain that for you just a little bit. When the heart contracts, it sends out a pulse wave all the way down through the periphery of the body, from the heart to the periphery, and back again. This, ref this wave reflects back. Now, if we measure how fast that moves back towards the heart, we can kind of get a feel about the elasticity and compliance of your arteries. So if your arteries are like a pipe and they're stiff, the pulse wave is going to travel back to the heart much, much faster and we're able to measure that. Well, what this, what's the significance of that is if your heart, <laughs> if your vessels in your body are like a pipe, you're going to damage your vessels and create cardiovascular type problems through atherosclerosis and damage to the arteries. And also, if this wave is traveling at the same time the heart is making its next contraction, you're creating a lot of resistance. And that is putting a lot of stress on the heart. Now let me show you a little bit about what the angio scan looks like. So I'm going to put that up on the screen. And later we're going to go through a full tutorial. I just want to give you a kind of an overall picture of this thing. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to say yes, we want to see it. So let's see on the screen here. So if you look on the screen, you know, the first thing that's showing up here, you can see heart rate. It's going to tell about the heart rate and what the person's overall heart rate is. It's going to measure something called the pulse curve type. It's going to tell us basically what type of wave pattern. When we talk about the, the pulse wave, what it looks like is going to tell us a lot about how fast it's traveling and how healthy the vessels are. And we'll talk more about that when we get to that section. The other thing that we want to look at is vascular stiffness. It's going to give us a score on this vascular stiffness based on this pulse wave analysis. It's also going to tell us about vascular aging. For example, this particular person is 59 years old but their, but their vessels are more like a 29 year old. Now he's been working with us and we've been actually Put, we put him on a specific uh, nutrients to help with his vascular system to improve nitric oxide and to improve the overall health of the endothelium or the, the inside of the arteries. And this is uh, after a couple months, we've been able to reverse the aging process in the vessels, which I think is pretty significant. We also have in here something called the stress index, which we'll get to, but let me go through. There's the stress index. Although his vessels are looking pretty good, this is kind of telling us a little bit about his stress, his overall stress. Kind of like on the HQ, the heart rate uh, variability that we measure, it's giving us kind of an overall view that this gentleman is, uh, his regulatory system, his autonomic nervous system is under a little bit of stress. And it's also telling us about something called oxygen saturation. So this is just a great little tool uh, that can screen our patients and it looks like it's just a little tiny thing like this that we hook up to the computer and it's very small, put it on the person's finger, we're going to go through that later when I go through the tutorial and it's just super easy to measure and it's much easier to measure than some of the other things that we have uh, because of the microprocessing and technology today. This is what I used to use in my office. It's hard to see it, but it's just this huge device, <laughs> hard to put it on there, that uh, I don't have to use this big huge device. I can just use this pulse oximeter device to measure, and it's fantastic. So I want to thank you for uh, listening today to about our new um, AngioScan device, and we'll show you more uh, through the tutorials and go through uh, each screen for you, show you how to hook it up and what to do with it. 
And uh, the other thing about this uh, technology, it is highly affordable. It's just these other machines are thousands of dollars. This one is uh, very affordable at fifteen hundred dollars versus five thousand dollars and more for some of the other uh, uh, pulse wave diagnosis technologies uh, or um, screenings, I should say. Anyway, thank you for your time and uh, we'll see you soon.